Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome back to another episode of Morrowind. In our previous episode, we did some work trying to figure out where we could get the pieces of the Blade of Nerevar to put it back together. And now we have two pieces, a broken Dwemer blade piece, that's what they're both called. We need the last one. And I think I know where to get the last one. That is to say, I checked the guide. See, I wasn't entirely sure where to get the last piece from, but Omalexia tells us to consult with people who have given us information before. One of those people, who has been very polite and helpful, is Queen Berenziah herself. And she seems to be one of the most informed people in the city, rightly so, so I figured she'd be the one to ask. Ah, my protector. How goes your quest to forge the Blade of Nerevar? Well, apparently she is very informed because I never told her anything about that. Okay, should be somewhere down here. There it is, pieces of the blade. Reforge the Blade of Nerevar? I have heard rumors of the Nereverine returning. Could it be you? I wonder, if what Amalexia says is true, and all the pieces of the blade are here in Mournhold, I have a few suggestions for you. Helseth's champion, Karad, carries a blade that is of ancient Dwemer design. Perhaps you will learn more from him. He respects you, Kevin, and that is a rare thing indeed. It is, in fact, more rare than you would actually think. You see, I learned a while ago that there is something interesting about Karad. Helseth claims him to be his champion and that there is nobody more loyal to him than Karad. However, if we... What may Karad... I thought it said Mighty Karad, but he calls me Mighty. I learned that one of Karad's weirdness is that if we ask him about Helseth, he's our new Keen, I suppose. I would like to know what happened to Keen Athen Lethen. Seems a bit odd that the old man died so soon after Helseth arrived in Mournhold. And what about Talon Vandas, Lethen's nephew? Everyone assumed he would be next in line for the throne, until his accident, that is. Well, I didn't remember hearing about Talon before. Now that was the man who would have been a leader to our people. King Lethen knew what he was doing when he began grooming that boy for the throne. Of course, it all changed when, Helse when Helseth arrived. Poor Vandas was found dead soon after. Yeah, Karad's supposed to be the most loyal person to the king, but he's not talking too favorably about his king. I just figured that was really weird and interesting. Is that an oversight by the developers, or did Karad just never tell him? I don't know. We need to ask you about the pieces of the blade. When I was a child, my father gave me this weapon. He told me that as long as I had it, none would defeat me in battle, until the rightful owner came to claim it from me. I now know that you are the one of whom he spoke. I give it to you freely. May it serve you as well as it has served me. Odd Dwemer weapon has been added. See, before we got the odd Dw or the broken Dwemer blade pieces, now we've got an odd Dwemer weapon. There you are. Um, it's pretty valuable despite the terrible damage it can inflict. Okay, well we have all the pieces. Let's uh, go back and talk to the smith who said he could put it together for us in the first place. Excuse me, sir. Greetings. Excuse me. Hey, Yagak. You want to make weapons? I've got one heck of a weapon for you to make. If I can find the right thing to ask you about in here. Forge the blade. You've got some interesting pieces there. I can work with this. Make the best blade you've ever seen. Not that I figure you'd know a die katana from a butter knife. Come back in two days' time and I'll have your blade. Now leave me alone. Okay. So that's it. Need custom armor. I'm the one you want. Two days. Well, there's an easy way to do this. We'll just rest here for two days and watch him while he works. Totally not creepy at all. Yeah, you're the one who wanted me to forge the blade. I suppose you figure I'm finished, huh? Well, it has been two days. Were you able to keep your word? Here's your blade, and before you ask, I don't know why it doesn't burn. I'm a smith, not an enchanter. You want Dwemer enchantments on this thing? Talk to a Dwemer. They're all dead! Well, except for one who has Corpus, but they're all dead. I know, I know they're all dead, but look. I've heard rumors of a powerful Dwemer mystic, Radak Stunk's Thumbs, that lived in Bombs Amshend. He's long gone, but maybe some of his writings still exist. If you find any of them, I'll see what I can do for you. Well, we have a whole bunch of Dwemer books, but I think that's all about machinery. It's... Oh, actually, we have... Yeah, we have True Flame now. That's a heck of a lot better, up to 60 damage. Looks like the weight decreased by 10 to 15, so that's good as well. 
That's a pretty good weapon. Up to 60 damage, and this one does up to 50. Plus poison for quite a while. I mean, this one's not enchanted. By the way, you shouldn't enchant it, otherwise you will break this quest forever. But that's pretty good. It's not even enchanted yet. We have a whole bunch of old Dwemer books here, but I highly doubt that any of them are going to be worth it to him. There are a couple that are worth 150. That one's on machinery maintenance. That's also on machinery maintenance. Eh, these two as well, but yeah. Apparently those are not the ones we need, so... Okay. Like he said, we need to come down here and try to find some of his writings. And although we have a whole bunch of Dwemer books, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. And I think I know where to go. I don't know which doors to go into, but I think I know where to go. Hopefully they won't kill me. Can't see him shooting at me. I shot my spell right behind him. I thought this was supposed to be a cast on strikes, not a cast on shot. Hall of Wales, I think we need to go down there, actually. I shouldn't have gotten rid of his corpse. So, let's see. Somewhere down in here, there was another rock side that we could have broken open with one of the Dwemer satchels that we have. That rock slide is sure to give me a way down. Hello? I think it was down here. Radax Forge? Hold on. The writings of the Dwemer mystic Radax stung thumbs. Okay. Hi there. Can't hit me. Can't hit me. Nope. 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 I should really switch to my... Uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Yay! Yeah. My spear. Yeah. In fact, that's an opportunity right there. These things are never a threat. Besides, this thing kind of does a lot better at a distance. Which is a distance that they can't hit me at. Oh, and there's going to be a Steam Centurion around the corner, right? No, a Dwemer Sphere. Or Centurion Archer. Nope. Nope. Yay. Actually, I think that's the same boost that we got the last time we were down here. But after I got that boost, I died. So, yep, this is the right way to go. Perfect. Come on, let me around there. I can't step over a rock. Two rocks, actually. Alright, I hear another spider. No big deal. That is not a spider. He's a bigger problem than a big deal. Why did you cast poison on... Oh, wait, that's... Poison and burden, so he probably had a reflect enchantment. I don't see the spider, even though I hear him. It's not that important to me, so let's go ahead and blast this sucker open. Give me a boom! Sweet. Still love it. Okay, in we go. Oh boy, it's dark in here. Whoa, this is not a Dwemer Ruin anymore. This is a Daedric Ruin. Dang, what kind of secrets are in Mournhold's past? The teeth that gnash. Hello? Hello? Uh, sup, dude? No! Uh, no. Here comes a third one. To you I say no as well. Why would there be an Ogrim in here? Oh, an Ogrim Titan. We've got like two Dremor and then an Ogrim Titan, which seems really out of place. Daedric Short Sword, I'll get rid of that just so I can be sure that I check this one, which isn't really worth the same thing, but I guess I'll take it anyway. Maybe I can sell it to some of the traders back in Mournhold. They've got like 8,000 gold on some of them. I could probably... I'm at least close enough. It is hard to see down here. Thought I saw a ghost for a second. Hello? Hello, Clamphere. He's probably not the first one who saw me. So who was? Okay, there's still music going on. No 
nobody on that upper level. Oh, there you are. That was odd. Nothing in here whatsoever? Whatsoever. Okay. Why I doth be here? I do not understand. Hello? This is so weird. There should be a heck of a lot more. And I'm getting a little confused and turned around in here because everything is dark. And I'm trying to see where I'm going more than I'm trying to keep my bearings. So that door was a bust. Then again, there might be somewhere else I want to go. The Grand Stair. Alright. Well, I'm actually going to head back because I have an idea about where I could find that guy's writings. They weren't there before, so maybe they'll have spawned now. No! Okay, I kind of bounced around there. I think that was a glitch, and I'm glad it happened because otherwise he would have shot me. Ah, <sighs> no, no, okay, so we've got this big place, there was that, oh my gosh, are you serious, It's a lot of them, there was that place down here where we had a giant robot, so that's where I want to look for him, or his stuff, I should say. You're dead, and you're dead. Man, a lot of these guys respawn. I should really not be disposing of their corpses anymore. And then there's this big thing. Well, I'm sure there's something in that dust, but or that mist, but even so, probably not likely that I can get anything out of there. Did I see these things before? Yeah, I did. Okay. Man, this is such a cool room. Alright, so I went too far. Where was that thing? Okay, there's only so far you can go before you end up using the walkthrough, and it turns out that we're supposed to look around in the Radax Forge area, which is where I am now. And that's where the robot room should be. At least that's where I was directed to, so hopefully I'll be able to find it without too much effort. Yep, here we are. So. Thought I heard something. Yeah, I am hearing something new. I'm seeing something new. You guys probably can't see him very well. Well, aren't we fortunate? Hello, Reddick. What are you doing down here? Leave an old spirit to his haunts. You want to talk to a Dwemer mystic? Ha! <laughs> Look, I'm no mystic. Wasn't when I was alive, either. I'm a soldier, kid. Plain and simple. Sure, I made weapons for my troops. No secret there. I'm no mystic, though, but did you say you want to add fire to that blade? Well, I'm told that's what it's supposed to be doing. Well, if that's all you want to do, you don't need a mystic, whelp. I can take care of that for you. We'll need some pie royal tar, though. Used to have some around here, but that was a long time ago. You can find it in the lower caves of Noren Durn in the citadel of Mindurer. It's an old ruin far beneath bombs on Shend. I swear no one is happy with a simple blade that cleaves bone. Always need the special effects. Well, I just want to restore it! I mean, I'm perfectly happy with what I've got so far. Then again, if this wasn't part of the quest, I'd probably enchant it myself, but I digress. Deep, deep caves and old Daedric ruin. Fooled Dunmer, worshipping those beasts. I say kill them all. Used to be a good spot for all sorts of resources, though. Of course, that was when there were any of us left who needed them. You can find the place through a cave-in at the Passage of the Walker. Take care down there, youngster. No telling what you may run into. You might discover a new way to die. That'd be something, at least. You should be able to find some pyroyal tar, though. Bring that back to me. Okay. Just a little something to apply to that blade of yours. Fine-looking blade, by the way. Should give you that fiery blade effect that everyone has always been so fond of. Well, I guess as long as he's here... That's what the Dunmer used to look like. Not sure how it's going to look on the video after I put it in my computer and render it and export it and upload it to YouTube after I try to fix the video settings on it or whatever, but yeah, at least there's something to look at. Okay, so back down to the Dwemer Ruin, provided I can find out where I'm going. That's where I'm going. Okay, we're back. 
And I think that we need to go this way, because the other way was the Grand Stair. The teeth that gnash. Okay, well... Hmm. Was there another passage up here I didn't see? This kind of looks like it should continue on, but I don't think so. Let's go ahead and move on to this door. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Apparently getting buried beneath the Dwemer Ruin is wonderful for the survival of old older ruins. So, dang. To think that all of this was beneath Mournhold. This is incredible. Oh, come on now. There we go. Hello. Right, Amantium. Okay, I can grab at least one of these. I was hoping there'd be more than one in that one, but... Uh-oh. Okay, we've got a Dramora and a Lich. Come on, get him fast. There's one. What is a Lich doing down here with the Dwemer? That seems really odd. Oh, and another spear skill increase. Did you revive or something? No? Okay. That's a very nice axe. This guy had a spear, so probably nothing important. Oh, well, I guess I can take that heart. Hmm. It has a restore health enchant er, effect in Oblivion, so I was expecting more from it. I mean, restore magic is pretty good, considering that magic doesn't restore on its own in here. What have we got here? Ah, here we go! Okay, and after having the game crash on me and reloading my game, we're back to where we were, with the exception of not taking a few detours, or there, so there are some enemies still alive. Also, my spear skill is one lower than it was before. Right, so, according to my last life, there are a couple golden saints over here, and hello, Wheaton Twilight, actually. I did not know you were over here from the last game. I know that in addition to these golden saints... Oh, wait, did that say Holy Saint? That's new. I didn't know that was a breed. Nope, it's Golden Saint. Okay, so, after that... Oh, hello, Dramora. That Dramora seems to be especially strong, so... Come on, now. Kill it? Yes! There we go. There's another soul for a zero star. Nash Detour, I think his name was. Okay, let's get rid of the green toilet first. Golden Saint, hello! You have a glass... Ooh! A shield of wounds! That's cool. Eh... Yeah, I can take all of those, actually. Why do you... You still have your shield on, okay. I'm sure I can sell a few of these back in town. Of course, I'm mostly only taking them so I can uh, repair them. A Daedric Staff. It's pretty nice. I can try to sell that. Pyroyal Tar. There we go. And a Daedra's Heart. Hmm. I thought that we would have gotten some kind of journal update. When we got the Pyroyal Tar. Someone else sees me. Oh. It's another one of these guys. Actually, maybe I should... Why did my spell reset? Now, hold on. I'll be with you momentarily. I want to capture your soul, too. Just wait your turn. Wait your turn! Dude, you are very impatient. I don't like that. No. There we go. Soul trap. All right. Now, I couldn't capture Nash G T Durer, or whatever his name was, but I can at least capture yours. Mostly because I'm curious about how big of a soul you have. Okay, come on now. There we go. Your soul is now mine. Your moral lord, I can take your heart. I'm sure you won't be needing that anymore ever again. And your buddy wants to die too. There we go. Now our spear skill is back up to where it should be. That was really tough to say for some reason. There's a something nearby. I could hear you. A hunger. Okay. He hungers no more. Is that it? Does anybody else want to try to kill me? I really hope not. Is there anything of interest back? Whoop. That's probably... Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, there is another door, though. Bascula of Divine Whispers. 
Okay, you know what? Fine, we'll go ahead and explore in here too. The observer, Naman, you will notice that something happened just before I came in here. Also, this is a treat. Every kind of Atronach in one room. In one tiny area. That's amazing. I will leave your corpses here just because I can. Are you another shrine to Mehrun's Dagon? And someone else? Wow. Are there a lot of... Azura? Shea Gorath? What? Are there any more? I didn't know this was down here. Who do we got this time? I think that's Molag Bell. Okay, this is really cool. That's, um... Okay, I know this one's Mehrun's Dagon, so who's that one? Boethia. Okay. I did not know this was down here. This is so awesome. And I don't remember that guy. Dang it, who was the one that looks like an Argonian on acid? Uh... I sort of want to see more like Bell, but I know that's Ron. Was it Sanguine? Or is the other one Sanguine? I don't know. This is a cool room. Yeah, this is a cool room. I like what I have found. It seems to be completely pointless, but still, very cool. Alright, let's get out of here and talk to the Dwemer again. Okay, I've improved my armor skill by fixing everything that we brought back with us. Radak, before we give this guy True Flame, I want to once again take a look at its stats. 50 to 60 is the maximum. It weighs 20. And in condition is 2,000. Alright. Radek, I got your pie royal tar. Ah, that's the stuff. Here, I'll do this. There. There's your sword. Not a bad looking blade, actually. Good luck to you, youngster. Now leave this old dwarf alone. Go. Thank you very much. The real true flame has been removed has been added to your inventory. I tried to say remove that. No idea why. Alright. I have returned the pie royal tar to Radek Stungstums, and he has applied it to the blade successfully. I should now return to Almalexia after I take a look at... Wow, that's shiny, and it looks like it's made of gold. Still weighs 20 pounds. And now it does up to 75 damage. Weight is still 20, conditions 2,000. Fire damage 30 points in one foot, cast when strikes. That is a lot better than anything else. Wow, Goldbrand, eat your heart out, it has a charge of 100, which is double that of Goldbrand. Still not a whole lot, but regardless, True Flame is awesome. In fact, let's equip it. Look at that thing over there. You think that's look good? Check this out. I am friggin' Darth Vader! Yes, this thing is on fire. A blade on fire forever. At least until the charge runs out, and then, you know, we can recharge it on its own, or we can charge it again on our own. But yeah, that is what we get for our trouble. That is amazing. Seriously. That is a quest reward. Holy crap. Alright, let's just go ahead and recall to get out of here. After I check this Centurion Sphere, he had nothing. I shouldn't have destroyed the course if he had nothing. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to be retiring Sh Shadowstein now. Just, you know, just saying. Greetings, my dear servant. You are to forge the blade of Nerevar once again, which I have done. I don't know if it's quite the same power, but it's good. The blade is reforged. Our time has almost arrived. There is but one obstacle that stands in our way, though it pains me to believe it is so. Sothasil. I cannot count the times I have fought by the magician's side. It was he who stood with me in the day I fought in Mornhold and banished Merun's Dagon to the depths of oblivion. It was Sothasil who was able to delve the mysteries of Kagrenek's tools and raise me to my rightful station. Wow, ego much? Now, though, the Tinkerer has become unstable. We will take care of that next episode. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for today's episode of Morrowind. Next time, it looks like we're going to talk to Omalexi about an unstable god of the Trinity. That's unusual but okay i guess that's what's we're gonna happen also we got the best quest reward ever that is exciting gaze upon my true flame a flame that is indeed truly there thanks everybody for joining me for morrowind come back next time and we will start talking about sultasil the last one see you then everyone take care